Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and I'm not filming a proper video today. I just wanted to come on here to give you guys a little reminder. I thought this would be important because of what's just happened in my life. Today I had to go to A&E to get medication because I ran out because of the bank holiday and I think it's such an important thing to remember. Like bank holidays, Christmas, it's a horrible time, especially if you're on weekly prescription. I ran out of Heliparadol on Friday night. It's Monday, I've gone 48 hours without having any and my mental health deteriorated to a point where I was reaching, I was reaching crisis point. So I went to a &E today and I got given my dose of Heliparadol and I'm not gonna lie, I feel really spaced out and really tired so if I seem all over the place that will be why. Just a reminder, take your medication. It's prescribed for a reason and despite what some people want to believe, it actually really does. Think before you comment. Words have untold power and a single word can be the difference between someone's life and their death. Check in with people around you, make sure people are okay, whether it's just a little message on Instagram saying hi, how are you? Or responding to someone's Instagram story just saying I'm here if you need to talk, but please only say that you are here if you need to talk, if you actually mean that you are going to be there. If you haven't taken your meds today, take your meds, take what you need and take what you've prescribed. If you do run out of medication, please do everything you can to try and get on your medication as soon as possible. I left it 48 hours and my mental health deteriorated, shockingly. I had the haloperidol about two hours ago and my thoughts are back to being stable. Meds and medication routines are super important and that's fine. My hamster's trying to escape. If you need support, don't be afraid to reach out. If you need to call or text a helpline, do it. I would actually really recommend the use of Shout. They're an amazing charity who you can text, so you don't even have to call. You can text. I've used them four times, and every single time has helped in the long run. Through their support, I was able to get to a place where I was able to make change longer term for my mental health. I was able to go through services to get my medication changed, which is the one thing I needed. Don't be afraid to ask for help, and if they say you need to go to hospital, don't be afraid. It's an intimidating time, and if it sends your anxiety high, you can always ask if there's anything you can take that will help with your anxiety, whether that is promethazine, which, is, which in the UK is just an over-the-counter medication, or lorazepam, diazepam, clonazepam, you know, the PAMs. <laughs> I take clonazepam um, twice daily because I'm trying to come off it. Um, I feel like I'm better off it than I am on. I still take it when I need to though. If you need a break from social media like Twitter, Tell, on that note if you have a Tell account my best advice is delete your account. It's a horrible social media website when people just take advantage of you and do everything they can to hurt you. Also. If you don't like someone, that's fine. Like, if you don't like me, fine, cool. I don't know why you're here. Just don't make, don't put other people down just because of your own opinion. If someone does something that hurts or offends you, please, please, please do not start an outright Twitter war over it. Don't rope loads of people in. Don't try and make that person feel worse than they already do just because you disagree with something. I just wanted to make this video to give you guys a little reminder that if you need to take your meds, take them. I just want to do some positive reminders and chit chatty stuff. But yeah, set alarms, set reminders and make sure if you're going into a bank holiday that you have enough medication. I just really wanted to make this video because I know there's other people going through a similar thing and I don't want people to struggle in silence. Because that's the thing about this channel, I'm someone who genuinely does care about every single person I talk to. It doesn't matter if that person is horrible to me, it makes me feel like crap. If they're not doing well, I will still care. I fell out with someone a few months ago and I still check up on her to make sure she is doing okay because I care. I feel like in the new year we need to all make this community better. We need to make this community what it used to be. The mental health community on Twitter has just gone so drama and toxic. And as someone who had basically the entire BPD community turn against her, over one person's tweet 
I can tell you it feels awful to be in the receiving end of that, despite being able to prove otherwise. People need to learn to respect boundaries and really understand the effect their words can have. Like, it's not just a tweet. You are tweeting something that could literally cause someone to end their life. So please think before you write. Please take your medication. Please follow your doctor's advice. Please do everything you can to better yourself, whether that's therapy, whether that's medication, whether that's social detox, or that's coming off social media altogether. Be selfless. Do what you need to do to better yourself. Let's be a support system. Let's be what this community used to be. Let's get back to that. You know, we're not a drama community. We're a mental health community. And we are all people struggling. And my hamster apparently likes being in this video. Block our hamster. This is just a reminder that we all need to hear. Think before you tweet and let's get this community back to being supportive. Let's go back to what we used to be. And with that, I would like to end this video.